Hey, what's going on? So what I'm gonna do today, show you how you can customize your MetaHuman inside Unreal Engine 5. Now, three months ago, actually, on the dot, I made this video on how you can change the MetaHuman's clothes in Unreal Engine 4 because one of the biggest issues right now, still till this day, is the MetaHuman's, the, their clothes is very limited. When it first came out, you only had the sweatshirt for the guy and the blouse for the girl. So three months ago, I started messing around with combining bodies to heads. Now there's a lot of different methods on how to do this now. You can find this everywhere on YouTube. But what I'm gonna show is show you how I do it. And I'm gonna show you how a fellow YouTuber solved my issue here when it came to the uh, neck problem. So I'm gonna show you my method on how I kinda fix that neck problem I was having here and I'm gonna show you another way which is free okay so here we go let's go to Unreal Engine I'm gonna use my method first so when I was having that neck problem I hit up uh, H Sculpts which he makes all the CG well majority of the CG characters I have right now and I told him hey dude I'm having this neck problem can you try and fix this and this is what kind of he came up with an alpha mask right here now I can't give you this alpha mask because this is part of my paid course in Udemy but I'm gonna show you how I do it and like I said I'll show you how double D Ub does it as well because his way is free all right so here we go um, I have a paladin woman right here that I got from the epic marketplace there's a couple of things that you have to kind of keep in mind whenever you're choosing a body for your meta human well one of them is the neck right you gotta have at least some type of covering under neck because it's gonna give the trick away so in this case this one works because there's a little bit of armor on the neck area so it's hiding it a little bit uh, additionally this uh, model actually has one mesh rigged completely and you're able to just disable parts of the body so i'm gonna go uh, leave this on and I already have it in my project so let's go ahead and work on this so for the meta human let's go to the quixel bridge and I'm gonna import a meta human I have downloaded which is actually Vivian uh, it's the only one I have downloaded for Unreal Engine 5 right now but you can use any meta human you have in your library so I have it right here high quality and I'm just gonna go ahead and import her straight to the meta human um, to the Unreal Engine 5 you can do this similarly if you have Photoshop you can do the same exact alpha mask, okay? So I'm gonna go to the content and let's go find our meta human right here, Vivian, and I'm gonna drag and drop her into this area here, which is by the way, this is the medieval village, but open in Unreal Engine 5. I haven't messed around with the settings at all. So this is just default. I just migrated it and that's pretty much it. Okay, so here we go. This is Vivian now. And what we're gonna do next is actually go to the Paladin Woman, all right? So we're gonna go to the mesh right here and we're gonna look at the skeletal mesh right here. And this is what I say, the modular is not gonna work. It's so much easier if you can find a model that has a skeletal mesh with the entire body, but you can disable features. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. Now I messaged a lot of uh, creators in the Epic Marketplace to start doing this so that you all have more options as far as clothing goes, but 90% of them agreed, but you do have some of those uh, really uh, old school ones that they make their characters for gaming. So they, they're gonna stick with a modular one. So here we go. So SDK Warrior, so pretty much right here, if I scroll down, if I go to LOD down right here, you're gonna see the sections. Actually, it's right here, it was LOD zero. Now, as long as the creator actually separates these, you should be able this without having to take this to a uh, blender, okay? Because before, if it was just single out, I had to take it to blender. So let's go take a, take, go ahead and disable that eyelash. You disable this hair, because we're gonna use groom hair. And disable the eyeballs, pretty much anything. So that's already, yeah, let's disable the head. And yeah, we're gonna disable the teeth for sure. Disable the jaws. And there you go. Just like that, you went ahead and removed that head from the mesh. And if you are a character creator or a modeler, try and see if you can follow this here. So you can just disable those and put a meta human head there. So I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna minimize it. And what's actually, before we minimize it, what's cool is this is already retargeted to the Unreal Engine 4 or whatever mannequin. So this is awesome. We don't have to do anything else as far as naming or uh, changing the skeleton names or using any remap assets. This is rigged to the skeleton of the UE4, which is so powerful. So the next thing I'm gonna do is open up Vivian right here. So edit the BP. Now this right here, you're gonna get a lot of crashes here. And this is when you need to save a lot. 
And I would say this is probably hit or miss depending on your CPU or your computer specs, okay? So really all you have to do is I'm going to disable everything else below the waist. I'm just gonna leave the top of the body and that's okay. Um, like I said, I don't know how well yours is gonna run this right now because you, you do have some groom assets. Groom, it's really expensive. So I'm gonna go to the body right now and I'm gonna change the skeletal mesh. If I click this mesh, I can actually change this to the platin. <laughs> platin. There you go. As you can see, it looks jacked up, but that's okay. I'm gonna go to the, um, click on the head. I'm gonna click on the skeletal mesh right now. And we're actually gonna go to the blueprint. And this is throwing me off because I'm so not used to this. So give me a second, it should be right here. And I'm gonna click on the anim graph right here. I'm gonna double click that. And this cache post or cache post, I'm gonna click on this cache, copy from uh, mesh, right? So you're gonna click on use uh, post mesh and then compile and save this. And this should take it straight down just like that. So the neck problem that I was having is actually this. See this neck, there's extra unweighted skin on the meta humans, which I'm hoping they will fix later. So that's the neck problem that I had three months ago in this video here. Okay, so to get this fixed, and this is my method, and I include it in my course, and I have this file for download, is we're actually gonna alpha mask the excess skin on this character, okay? So we're gonna go back to Vivian, so you can see it's good, but the actual mesh itself got messed up as far as the body goes. So I'm just gonna look for the Paladin. <laughs> Paladin. Paladin woman hand, and there you go. Now you see that neck problem. She looks like Nicolas Cage right now. So we have to fix that. And like I said, to fix that, let me save this first before we get any crashes. All right, so to fix this, we're gonna go to the BP and I'm gonna go to the face, click on the skeletal mesh face, and I'm gonna go to this synthesize right here in the material, click on hierarchy, click on head, and this is gonna compile some shaders. All right, I'm gonna go to this head right here, I'm gonna change this to masked, and this is why this method is simpler because it's a drag and drop type of deal. Now I'm gonna take the alpha mask that I had sculpts make, and I'm just gonna make, drop it down right here. I'm gonna take the RGB and take this opac opacity mask and that's gonna compile some shaders. And like I said, you don't have to buy this. You can create this in Photoshop. Just copy the same exact thing. What's black, copy the black and in the white portion, copy the white portion. But like I said, I don't wanna just give it away for free because I did have people who supported me by getting the course. So I don't wanna just you know take that away from them because it is, there for them to get. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait is for it to compile shaders, eight. And this is where this method works. It's just like that, you really just masked out the, um, the excess neck. But as you can see, I'm gonna have to move her head down even lower, okay? So it, like I said, before you buy something, make sure that your neck is covered. And you can also just adjust your alpha mask so you can have a little bit, a little bit more neck. But as you can see right here on the very back, you're starting to see that flipping thing up again, that extra mesh. All right, and this is why double D dubs or double ups uh, method is a little bit better because you have a little bit more control. But it is gonna, you are gonna have to go to the uh, blueprints a little bit, which I'm gonna show you right now. And again, big thanks to double D's ups. Check out his YouTube channel so you guys can support him as well. So let's go ahead and take care of this right here. So if I go to face, click on the mesh again, click on the synthesized again, go to the hierarchy head. I'm gonna delete this alpha mask that we created. I'm gonna save this, okay? Because what you're gonna do is actually create a linear gradient in here in engine, which is pretty darn sweet and it's so cool. So if I go right here, you're just gonna create a linear gradient. Okay, and what you're gonna do is take the swirly and you're gonna do a minus one because you're gonna flip it. Instead of coming from the top to down, you wanna subtract from the bottom, from the neck up. So we're gonna do that and click on the opacity mask. Same exact thing, same exact thing as my alpha mask, but it's just giving you a little bit more control as far as having to, how much can you remove on the neck itself, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna minimize this now. And as you can see, Boom, just like that, it took away 
a lot of her neck, but you can see the issue, right? Unless you're going for that effect or whatever, you know, if you want to create something creepy, then you can do that. But if you want to fix this, same thing, same exact thing, just go back to the skeletal mesh, go to the synthesizer once again. And if you scroll down right here, you're going to look for mask. And what you want is actually this material property right here. Since we created that, uh, that material, we can now click this and I'm going to save it, close it. Okay. Click on it again. I'm going to click on this instance and then we're going to go back. And now this should be turned on. And now I can put something like 0.2. It depends on the character. You're going to have to play around, but obviously 0.3 is taking too much of her head off. So you want, you want that a little bit. And this is where he gets a little bit uh, creepy as far as, you know, crashing and stuff. There you go. Compile, save. So you can see you do have that back. Uh, you have that neck a little bit more than you did before. And then you can always just bring this down. Wow. So we just crashed again. So we are back now. I'm going to cancel this. There you go. And now you see that her head is in there. Now, like I said, I can move this around a little bit more in the BP if I want. And let's see if I can actually do that instead of having to guesstimate. Okay, see, this is good. This is better. I can actually walk in there for the face. You can actually move this in and out like that and down if I need you to, okay? So as you can see, it's the same exact way as my alpha mask, but you don't have to move around as far as blueprints and opacity mask and stuff like that for since mine is really just drag and drop. But like I said, now you have two ways on how to do this in Unreal Engine 5. And what's cool is, that's whatever that flickering is, that is the physics for the clothes. That's happening a lot in, in here right now. So the cool thing about this is since this body is already retargeted to a UE4 mannequin, you can get a lot of animations as we target the same exact body and it's gonna follow along. So to test that out, let's add a new sequencer. I'm gonna add this body here, Vivian. Okay. Now you have a face rig for your face, but you, and I'm gonna delete that. And you also have a body rig for your body. So right here. So for the body, this person should have some default animation. See? Now, obviously it's not gonna be perfect, but for talking and standing and such things like that and mocap stuff, I think this method would work. Honestly, and I mean, it's been working for me because people don't even notice it. Like in my meta humans are dead. This, I did my alpha mask method. Pretty much every time you see me with a custom meta human, pretty much did the first method, my method, and it works out okay. As long as I don't move too much or do a lot of crazy stunts, it's gonna be okay. Now I'm hoping one day there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot more options for the meta humans close, but for now, we are gonna have to do a lot of DIY work around. And uh, if you have another method that you think is better than what I showed you right now, let me know in the comments below. And again, thanks for Double D Dub for uh, coming up with the app for the actual linear graded in engine. So you won't need to do an alpha mask. But if you want to do an alpha mask, just go to Photoshop and copy the same exact thing I did. And if you got my course from Udemy or Selfie, I did have this for you guys to download so you don't have to make it yourself. All right, hopefully you all learned something today and I will see y'all later.